Hello everybody and today we will be having a look at this Rover 200 range brochure. Right, let's get into it. Let's have a look at the front, there's not much really to see at the front. This isn't a full brochure, it's just a little pamphlet to look through so this won't be a, a long review but it's still long enough to where it's worth a review. So you've got the lovely Rover crest on the front. Right, let's get into it. Born to be driven, bred to be a rover. Some info here if you'd like to have a read. To give you a bit of info on the car, right. The car was built from 1984 to 1989. It was very Honda influenced. This car had a Honda engine. And I think a lot of the body was Honda. But the rover had uh, free reign with the front and other bits to try and give it more of a rover look. But I think it was it was mostly Honda. So that this is like the Ronda era of rover. As people call them Rondas. Just say what whatever, but it's still a very nice car. It's one of my favourite rovers anyway. I love it. I've never seen one because I think these are pretty rare now. This lovely picture here of these rovers. Base spec there, I think. The two thirteen. Oh, and then there's your Vandom class. Born to be driven, bred to be rover. Right then, let's go have a look at at the models if it would flip over right let's start here right at the bottom of the range with a 200 two, 213 a driver's car of distinction let's see what you got with this fine spec car there's lovely seats little tray for your money Got such thing as a concealed fill cap. Some proper luxury there. Glove box storage bins and coin tray. Digital clock, water and fuel gauges. Barrel seat cup facings and cup, cup pile carpeting. Very, very high end luxuries in these uh, cars. Very Honda looking, as I've seen with videos say, very Honda looking interior. It doesn't look very Rover, as you'd think, Rover. And one thing strange I have noticed about this car is you have to go all the way up to the Vanden Plas to get some wheel trims. The rest of them have just got basic steel wheels. I think, come on. I think at least by the time you get to the SE, give me some wheel trims at least. Well, yeah, that's the base spec Poverty Rover 200. The poor man's 230. The Rover's. The, the poor man's 200. Right, let's move on to something a bit more luxurious. The 213S. More features, more luxury. Right, let's see what more luxury we've got. Right then. Separate rear, compa <clears throat> separate rear compartment heating. Very fancy. Colour key dual height seat belts. Very fancy. You know, you're fancy when you've got some seat matching seat belts. Very fancy. Plain and pinstripe velvet seat facings. Mm, very posh. Interior fuel filler cap release. Now, now we're getting somewhere with some luxury. It's, it's a lovely interior. Very, very 1980s. But this car, this car is just peak 1980s. Look at the interior. And I'll just go back to the 213. Just look at the dashboard. You can't get more 1980s than all of that. That is some 1980s styling. And it's this lovely gold colour. Very, very nice. I really like the styling of this car. It's very nice. I've never said, I've never, I'd love to see one. Just never seen one. That's the rare. I don't know how many are left on the road, but I know there's not many. And also some more info about this car. Uh, if you are into your classic British TV shows, uh, this was the car from the show Keeping Up Appearances. It was driven by Richard Bucket. I think it was uh, the 213 SE. I don't think it was the van. Was it the van? I can't remember if it was the van and plus one. But yeah, this was the car from Keeping Up Appearances. Right. Let's get some more luxury with the 213 SE. And I think this might have been the colour. I think this was the colour of the car in keeping up appearances. And this again, we've got to the luxury, more luxury one just before the Vanden Plas. And we've still got no wheel trims. Come on, Rover. Give me some wheel trims. 
And you've got this lovely, lovely blue dashboard and blue interior. Now that is really nice. Proper of its time. Now that is beautiful. Alright, see what features we got with the 213SE. A central locking system. Bloody hell. That's fancy luxuries there. Seat and head restraints fully upholstered in hairline velvet. Dipping rear view mirror. Uh, bloody hell, we're getting some luxury now. Walnut and veneer door inserts. Now, now, now we're getting into some proper Rover stuff. Getting some nice wood in the interior, some nice wood trim. Rear door courtesy switches. Bloody hell, getting some fancy stuff now. Electronic rev counter. Now, now you know you're getting posh when you've got a rev counter. Proper fancy. Now you know you've got yourself a proper rover. But yeah, again, lovely colour. Probably, as I said, brilliant car. I think these were good cars. I don't know much about them, but I think they were good cars. They, would, they would have had good engines. It's got a Honda engine, so the engines shouldn't have had no problems. But yeah, people will always call it because it's a Rover. People always call them. But I love Rovers. They're brilliant cars. It was just a shame that they've been gone now for, what, 20 or so years. But the cars they made still live on. And they will always live on because they are great cars. They're beautiful cars. Right. Let's step up to the final and best car in the range. The 213 Vandom Plus. Or Pla, whatever you want to say. Look at these lovely seats. I think that leather seats. Lovely. Right, let's see what you get with that Vandom Plus. Seats and head restraints faced in selected hide or Rachel fabric. So you've got fabric or leather. Luxury shag pile carpeting. Mm, very posh. Three bend band electric stereo radio cassette four speaker system. Power jet headlamp washers. Electric windows all around with one touch automatic operation on the door, driver's door map pockets behind front seats exclusive random random plus styling enhancements now then it's do you know what i find funny about this car it's taken to get all the way up to the random plus to get electric windows luxury really has come a long way on it you know you have to get to the top spec model to get some electric windows how time has changed, but you gotta love it for that. So yeah, the Vandom Plus. So you've gotta to get to the Vandom Plus to get some wheel trims and some electric windows. How very fancy. You knew you were living it when you had some electric windows back in the day. I think this was an early brochure. I think this is when they first came out, this one. But yeah, nice little brochure. A nice little car. I'll have to find out some more, and one day I will get a full brochure to look at, instead of just a little pamphlet, because it deserves a proper look at this car, because it is a lovely little car. Right, I believe that is all. I think there's some information on the back we can have a look at. I think we've already looked at this, but I'll just go over again in case you want to have a look. And some other bits here. Oh, then this is engine specs, so you got a... New aluminium 12 valve, 3 cylinder, 1.3 litre engine. Bloody hell. In fancy. Superb 5 speed manual gearbox. That very posh 5 speed gearbox. Servo assisted drum brakes. Precision rack and pinion steering. Brilliant. So that that's all the um, engine specs for this car. Steel belt. To the low rolling resistance radial tyres for additional fuel economy. Everything about getting all that luxury and making sure it's still economical. Even when you've got a few quid, you still need to watch the petrol. Right then. I believe that is all for this little pamphlet. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little review. Please consider comment, liking and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.